Welcome to module nine. Should you put prices on your website? Big question. You have done the hard work of figuring out your rates and figuring out your packages. It's not that hard. Don't worry. Okay. Let's talk about pricing and putting pricing on your website. And here is my take. I think premium pricing comes with relationship. If you lead with price, you simply become a commodity. You become shoppable. People can Google other designers offering similar services to you. They can pull up price and they think they're comparing apples to apples. And you and I both know it's not that. We all do things so differently, but the general consumer doesn't know that. So by leading with price, it commodifies you. I take the stance of encouraging potential clients to book a call. Whether you do a video call, a simple phone call, get clients on the phone, talk to them, let them get to know you, hear them, listen to their stories, find out their needs, learn more about where they're coming from. Make that connection. If you build a relationship, it is easier to sell them on your value. And you are offering a design service at a premium price. You cannot compete on price. You will lose and it's not worth it. So I would not put pricing on your website. That being said, there is one caveat. And that is if you are getting swamped with inquiries and projects, which congratulations, that is a good problem to have. But I can understand we sometimes get to a point where We're getting a lot of inquiries and we're wasting a lot of time on those initial phone calls. People are reaching out that aren't a fit, that really don't need the services we have to offer. And so if you get like that, congratulations, I would consider including your entry-level price online as a reference. So if you do offer a two-hour consultation, you could have that price listed, but maybe your full service, you know, it says ask us for a quote or book a discovery call to learn more. By having at least your entry-level price, it will help people know what planet you're on when it comes to pricing. And any client that can afford to work with you can afford your consultation fee. So having that fee online will help filter out price shoppers. It'll help just better leads, better potential clients get to you without you getting bogged down by everybody who wants to work with you, who just has no idea what the investment actually looks like. All right, there's my two cents on that. You have done it. You have made your way through. We are going to wrap things up in module 10.